हेलो चिल्ड्रेन हाउ यू आर तो जैसा हमने डिस्कस किया था फर्स्ट पार्ट में कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट के बारे में आज हम उसी चैप्टर को कंटिन्यू करेंगे विथ फ्यू मोर सम्स और दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो फॉर कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट आई मेड टू वीडियो दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट एंड द लिंक ऑफ द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज देयर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स आप उसे जरूर चेक करना तो चलो स्टार्ट करते हैं और हा स्टार्ट करने से पहले कुछ फॉर्मूला है बहुत सिंपल सा फॉर्मूला है वो फॉर्मूला हम डिस्कस करते हैं तो जो पैसा आपने इन्वेस्ट किया हुआ है जो पैसा बैंक में रखते हो इन्वेस्ट करते हो उसे हम प्रिंसिपल बोलते हैं ठीक चलो लिखते हैं उसे हम प्रिंसिपल बोलते हैं जो पैसा मैंने बैंक में रखा हुआ है और बैंक वाला बैंक वाला मुझे जो पैसा देता है उसे हम बोलते हैं कंपाउंड अमाउंट उसे हम बोलते हैं अमाउंट तो इसका मतलब अमाउंट इक्वल टू प्रिंसिपल प्लस इंटरेस्ट क्योंकि मुझे मैंने जो पैसा बैंक में रखा वो पैसा बैंक वाला मुझे रिटर्न करेगा प्लस कुछ एक्स्ट्रा मनी भी देगा वो एक्स्ट्रा मनी इज कॉल्ड इंटरेस्ट अंडरस्टेड सो प्रिंसिपल जो हम बैंक में पैसा इन्वेस्ट करते हैं और इंटरेस्ट मतलब जो बैंक वाला हमें एक्स्ट्रा मनी देता है मतलब प्रिंसिपल जो पैसा मैंने बैंक में रखा वो तो मुझे मिलेगा ही प्लस कुछ एक्स्ट्रा मनी भी मुझे मिलेगा दैट इज कॉल्ड इंटरेस्ट अब कंपाउंड अमाउंट को कैसे कैलकुलेट करेंगे हम कंपाउंड अमाउंट को कैलकुलेट करने के लिए फॉर्मूला बहुत सिंपल सा फॉर्मूला है एंड यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दैट फॉर्मूला सी अमाउंट इक्वल टू पी वन प्लस आर बाई हंड्रेड टू दी पावर एन ये है अमाउंट कंपाउंड अमाउंट प्रिंसिपल प्रिंसिपल आर है रेट मतलब जो परसेंटेज के हिसाब से आपको पैसा मिलेगा रेट एन इज टाइम अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर कंपाउंडेड एनुअली कंपाउंडेड एनुअली फाइन कुछ कुछ सम्स में आपको मिलेंगे कंपाउंडेड हाफ ईयरली तो जिस सम्स में आपको मिलेंगे कंपाउंडेड हाफ ईयरली वहां पे आपको क्या फॉर्मूला यूज करना होगा ए इक्वल टू पी इंटू वन प्लस आर बाय यहां पे होगा नॉट वन हंड्रेड यहां पे होगा टू हंड्रेड और यहां पे होगा टू एन अंडरस्टैंड पावर एंड टू एन एंड एवरीथिंग विल रिमेन सेम फाइन सो विद दिस फॉर्मूला आई विल गेट अमाउंट विद दिस फॉर्मूला यू विल गेट अमाउंट पुट द अमाउंट हियर put the principal here you will get interest that means interest equal to amount minus principal to agar hum principal ko subtract karte hain amount se jo hame is formula se milenge agar minus karte ho aap to aapko milenge interest so ye sare formula hamare kaam aayenge aur ek formula main discuss karna chahunga जैसे मैंने आपको पहले बताया कुछ कुछ बैंक्स ऐसे बोलते हैं कि फर्स्ट ईयर हम आपको देंगे 5 परसेंट सेकेंड ईयर देंगे 7 परसेंट थर्ड ईयर देंगे 8 परसेंट मतलब एवरी ईयर द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेट इज चेंजिंग तो उस केस में हम अमाउंट को कैसे निकालेंगे बहुत सिंपल सा फॉर्मूला है अमाउंट इक्वल टू पी वन प्लस आर वन बाई हंड्रेड वन प्लस आर टू बाई हंड्रेड इस तरह से हम कैलकुलेशन करेंगे फिर अगर और एक परसेंटेज है वन प्लस आर थ्री बाई हंड्रेड 
सो अगर तीन साल के लिए तो आर वन आर टू आर थ्री जो डिफरेंट परसेंटेज है डिफरेंट ईयर के लिए अंडरस्टेड तो अब हम सब स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन फाइंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट एंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट लेट अस मार्क इट हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट माइनस सिंपल इंटरेस्ट सो वी नीड टू फाइंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट फर्स्ट देन वील फाइंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट देन वील माइनस दम लेट्स वट आर द अदर इंफॉर्मेशन गिवेन Compound interest and simple interest on rupees eight thousand. That is my principal equal to rupees eight thousand. Okay. In two years, time is two years, and percentage is five percent. So let us use our formula to find the compound interest. First, we have to find compound amount. What is compound amount? P into. I am directly putting the values. P into one plus R by hundred. We know this, and to the power n, n is two. So what is my compound amount? Eight thousand into this is hundred into one hundred plus five hundred and five by hundred into hundred and five by hundred. Why? Because two. Correct. That's why we have to write twice. Now double zero double zero. सिंगल जीरो सिंगल जीरो फाइव ट्वेंटी वन जा फाइव टू जा सो बाई टू यू कैन कट फोर ओके सो मल्टीप्लाई फोर हंड्रेड एंड फाइव ट्वेंटी वन यू विल गेट समथिंग दैट इज कंपाउंड अमाउंट नाउ हाउ टू फाइंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट इक्वल टू कंपाउंड अमाउंट माइनस प्रिंसिपल सो वट एवर यू आर गेटिंग हियर यू पुट हियर Minus principal. Principal is eight thousand. Eight thousand. So in this way, you'll get compound interest. Understood? Now we'll find simple interest. We know the formula of simple interest. P R T by hundred. What is P? Eight thousand. What is R? Five. What is T? Two. P R T. By hundred, so now you can calculate them. So five to the ten, ten into eighty, eight hundred you are getting, and you are getting here the compound interest, and here you are getting simple interest. So put this compound interest here, minus, and eight hundred is simple interest. Put it here. So now find the difference. Understood this sum? Let us move to the question number. Eight. Question number eight. A sum of money invested at com compound interest and amounts to rupees one nine three six zero in two years, and to rupees two three four two five point six zero in four years. Find the rate and original sum. Sum means principal. So here two two things we have to find. This is number eight. we have to find r and then we have to find principal two things we have to find let's see the first case case 1 what is case 1 a sum of money invested at compound interest and amounts to 19360 in first case amount is 19360 we know that compound amount Equal to principal one plus r by hundred to the power n. N is two. This is the first case. If you read the question, see. So, what is the second case? Case two. Case two is same way. Amount is given two three four two five point six zero equal to. P one plus R by hundred. What is R? R we do not know. To the power four. Correct. Fine. Now 
this is the first case this is the second case now we will divide them yes the second one will divide by this first one let's see the division division i'm showing you here what is the second one 23425.60 by 19360 equal to 1 plus try to understand this what I am writing very simple 1 plus r by 100 to the power 2 got it this is my second line and this is my first line so I am dividing this second case by first case in this way I can write it so here we are cancelling this point so we are getting double zero here and we can then we cancel this two zeros also pp is cancelled this is one plus r by hundred this is also one by r by hundred but the power is four this power is two so we know that uh, four minus two is two so we are getting two three four two five six because zero is cancelled by 19360 equal to 1 plus r by 100 to the power 2. Okay. The same way now we have to cut them. If you cut it, what you will get? Say um, by 2 I am cutting. Two one the two okay okay say so again I'm cutting by four By 4 I have, see, uh, 4 to the 8, 3, 37, 4, 9 to 36, 1, 11, 4 to the 8, 3, 32, 4, 8 to 32, 4 to the 8, yes, correct. Now this one, okay, let us cut it again by 2. Yes, one four six four one by one two one zero zero. What we got here? One two one zero zero equal to one plus r by hundred square. Now, if you see one two one by one one zero. If I square it, one two one square means one four six four one. 110 square is 12100. Zero, zero. 1 plus r by 100 to the powers 2. Why I have done this? Why I have written 1 to 1 square and 110 square so that I can cancel this square square? Yes, just to cancel it. Here we will not think for any cube or to the power 4, then we cannot cancel them. We are seeing here for 2. 1 to 1 square means this and 110 one square is this. Why I have done this square? So that I can cancel this square square. Now in the second line, you cancel this square square but you will not show it. You will not cut it. Just imagine that you have cancelled. So what is left? 1 to 1 by 110 equal to 1 plus r by 100. Now take this one here, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 0, minus 1, R by 100. So, LCM is 1, 1, 0, R by 100. Now, 1, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, that is 11 by 110, equal to R by 100. Find cross multiply 1, 1, 0, R. 100 into 1100 so 
आर इक्वल टू इलेवन हंड्रेड बाय वन वन जीरो नाउ जीरो जीरो कैंसल्ड बाय इलेवन यू डिवाइड दिस यू विल गेट टेन सो टेन परसेंट इज द रेट अंडरस्टूड द सम इज नॉट फिनिश्ड येट हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड द ओरिजिनल सम ओरिजिनल सम मींस प्रिंसिपल for that i'll suggest you to use any of these two equations either you can use this first equation or you can use this second equation let us use the first equation what is the first equation 19360 equal to p let us write this equation 19360 equal to p 1 plus r by 100 what is r 10 Ten by hundred to the power two. Two. Now let us solve this. One nine three six zero equal to p. Hundred is LCM, so this is hundred and ten. Yes. Now zero zero cancel, so nine three six zero p. That is eleven square means one twenty one by ten square means hundred. So p equal to nine three six zero into hundred because hundred is a down that is going up. One to one is that up that will come down. One to one. Okay. Now you can multiply and divide by it. Whatever you will get from this, that is the principal i hope you understood so we got principal also and we got rate of interest also question number 9 can you say it read the question a sum of money lent out at compound interest at a certain rate per annum becomes three times of itself in 8 years you understood this line see the line again the principal amount we do not know what is the principal the principal its amounts to three times that is my compound amount equal to three times of principal that is 3p in 8 years here time is 8 years this is my first case correct now what is my second case in how many years second case is time we have to find how many years it becomes 27 times that is compound amount becomes 27 times of principal fine we need to find the principal i repeat the question again principal we need to find when compound amount is thrice of p and time is 8 years and when the compound amount is 27 times of p what is the time so we are going to use our same formula here let uh, do it okay now for the first case we'll do this case first compound amount that is 3p p 1 plus r r we do not know to the power 8 this case 27p equal to p 1 plus r by 100 to the power time we do not know so time is t okay now p p cancelled here also p p cancelled correct now see this calculation we can write that 3 to the power 1 by 8 what is the power here 8 so i can cancel this 8 if i cancel this 8 then the power of this 3 will be 1 by 8 that's why i written it here equal to 1 plus r by 100 understood 1 plus r by 100 the power is 8 If I want to cancel this eight, if I don't want to write this eight, then I have to write this three to the power one by eight. Now here, same here, 
I want to cancel this t. So I will write 1 plus r by 100 equal to 27 to the power sorry 1 by t. 27 means 3 cube. So I can write 3 cube cube is 27. Another power is 1 by t. So I can write into 1 by t. I'll do 1 plus r by 100. So that is 3 to the power 3 by t. 3 1 just 3 by t. I'll do 1 plus r by 100. Okay. So this is my second equation and this is my first equation. Again I will divide this second equation by this first equation. What is the second equation? 3 to the power 3 by t by in first equation 3 to the power 1 by 8 equal to 1 plus r by 100 by 1 plus r by 100. So this r cancelled. So we can say that 3 to the power 3 by t equal to this is going here 3 to the power 1 by 8. So this is 3 to the power something 3 to the power something. So if I cancel it 3 3 3 and 3 are cancelled. If you are going to cancel this then you will get only 3 by t equal to 1 by 8. Cross multiply it t equal to 3 h 24. So time is 24 years. Question number 10 is what sum of money will again we have to find principal what sum of money will amount to that is compound amount 27783 rupees in one and a half years time is one and half year half year at 10 percent per annum r is 10 percent compounded half yearly this sum is different here it is written that compounded half yearly if the compounded half yearly then the formula is different i shown in the i shown you in the beginning that if it is written compounded half yearly then the formula is compound amount equal to principal 1 plus r by 200 yes 2n <coughs> correct this is the formula if it is mentioned compounded half yearly like this question compounded half yearly now what is compound amount let us calculate it to oh, compound amount is given 27783 7783 what is p we do not know we have to find this then uh, um, <coughs> 1 plus r is 10 by 200 to the power 2n 2n what is n 2 1 2 plus 1 3 3 by 2 into 3 by 2 got it now 27783 equal to p 0 0 cancel so 1 plus 1 by 20 2 2 cancel that is only 3 27783 then p 20 into 120 plus 1 21 by 20 that is 3 so now 27783 equal to p into 21 by 20 into 21 by 20 into 21 by 20 three times because power is 3 now p equal to as i told you before which are at down that will go up which are at up that will come down so i am getting 27783 into 20 into 20 into 20. All these 20s are getting up. 21, 21, 21 are coming down. Yes. Now again you have to multiply all this and you have to divide by this. So whatever I will get after calculation of this, that is the principle. I hope you understood.
Now, question number 11. In question number 11, uh, before studying that, I want to ask you a question. Say, uh, you bought a scooty today. Yeah. And the price of the scooty is 80,000. After two years, you are going to sell that scooty. How much you'll get? You'll get 80,000 or more than 80,000 or less than 80,000. Obviously, you will get less than 80,000 because the cost of the scooty will get depreciate every year. 2018, you bought a scooty say for X rupees. And in 2020, that is now, you want to sell that scooty and you got a price 97,000 uh, 97,200 I am taking this value from the question 97,200 and again in 2022 you want to sell the same scooty ok and say why is the value which you are getting in 2022 so what is my question is you got sorry you bought it in 2018 for rupees x in 2020 you are going to buy it sorry sell it and in 2020 again you planned to sell the same bike now the price is decreasing here again the price is decreasing here so for this first case for this case this much this is my principal and this is my amount okay so let us discuss this case first same way amount equal to we know that principal 1 plus r by 100 to the power n same formula of compound interest see but we need to change this formula a little bit because here the value of the machine is depreciating read the question the cost depreciates means the value is reducing so when the value is reducing i have to consider minus here not plus it's minus got it so what is my amount 97200 97200 sorry 97200 equal to P P is my X X into 1 minus R by 100 R what is R? R is given 10% read the question it's given 10 in 2 years because after 2 years you are planning to sell it now 97200 X 100 is the LCM 100 was 100 minus 10 that is 92 0 0 cancelled 97200 x 9 square means 81 by 10 square means 100 so x equal to 100 is going up 97200 into 100 by 81 so after calculation of all this you will get x x means the value of the machine two years ago means when you bought the machine okay understood now the question is not over yet i want to find the value of y y means the present value that is in 2020 the value is 97200 what is the value of the same machine in 2022 so the same formula compound amount equal to p what is p let us write the formula first 1 plus r by 100 to the power n again i made a mistake what mistake i made i written plus here it will be minus because the value is reducing so it's minus depreciates is written this all this minus are because of the depreciation depreciation 
is written in the question if you see this word depreciates yes depreciates at 10 percent so this is the second case it was the first case first case principal amount second case principal amount so now this is my principal and this is my amount so my amount is y y what is my principal 97200 97200 1 minus r by 100 what is r 10 by 100 so now you know the calculation that is 2 so y equal to 97200 into 100 into 100 minus 10 90 90 by 100 90 by 100 into 90 by 100 because square is there now you can calculate this to get the value of y so you understood this sum so actually what have we discussed in 2018 you bought the scooty for rupees x 2020 you want to sell it for 97200 and then 2022 if you want to sell the same scooty for rupees y the values are reducing day by day yes day by day or year by year what do you going to say so here the value is reducing here also the value is reducing means depreciation the word is mentioned in the question that's why i am writing minus here and minus here okay let us move to our next question the last question of this video question number 12 Question number 12. A sum of money is invested at 10% per annum. Sum of money, that is principal, which is not given in the question, is uh, half yearly, compounded half yearly. It's mentioned half yearly. Half yearly is not new for us. We have discussed already half yearly. Uh, now we'll write the uh, formula accordingly. Let's see. Uh, here two cases are given first case case 1 case 2 in case 1 time is 6 month here 12 month 6 month will be converted into year 6 by 12 that is 1 by 2 year that is 12 by 12 that is 1 year that month is converted into year here also month is converted into year now let us uh, write the formula amount equal to p p we do not know then uh, 1 plus r what is r r is given r is 10 percent is given 10 by 100 to the power n n means 2n into 1 by 2 and it will be 200 yes because this is half yearly for half yearly formula is amount equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 sorry r by 200 into 2 n so amount equal to what is p we do not know p uh, 0 0 cancel 21 so this is 21 by 20 2 2 cancel power is 1 so that means amount equal to 21p by 20. Now let's see this case, second case. In second case, amount equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power 2 into 1. Why 200? Why 2 here? Because half yearly. We know the formula of half yearly. 200 and there's 2 here. So amount equal to p into that is 210 by 200 to the power 2 0 0 cancelled so amount equal to that is uh, 21 square means 441 441p by 400 okay now it is given that the difference between these two amounts is 189 difference between these two amounts is 189 let us continue it here 441 p by 400 minus 21 p by 20 
equal to 189. Now what is the LCM? 400. By 20 you divide 400. 20. 20 into this 420p equal to 189. Okay. Now 441 minus 420 that is 21p by 400 equal to 189. Understood? Now p equal to uh, 181 into 400 is going there up and 21 is coming down. Okay. Sorry, this is 189. 189. Now we can cancel this 21. 9 into 400, 3600. Zero, zero. This is the principal we got. So find the sum. That means the principal. Understood? So we have to say that you 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 have